Hi, this is Blake Rowe with EcoBags.com, and today we are cleaning the pellet stove. Our pellet stove is a Harman Accentra fireplace insert, and uh, once we installed this thing and started using it to heat our downstairs, our oil bill was reduced by half. These are the necessary tools. It's a bit of a job, which is why a pellet stove is not for everyone. You have to be willing to clean it out, like once a month. Without getting into the technicalities of how it works, uh, this is about a week's worth of ashes. You can use the stove almost a full week before you have to empty out the uh, ash pan. And the pellets themselves, oh, almost empty. Uh, this is the hopper, and uh, I'll show you these another time. It takes about an entire winter season to fill up this one can of uh, ashes. So uh, this is already a couple of times in, and here goes the pile. That can be added to compost later, just not all in one clump. You can layer it for some ash. It takes about 20 minutes to uh, vacuum out all the extra ash, uh, about once a month when the performance starts to go down. And these fire plates have to come out, and you have to vacuum behind there. And once a season, you have to pull the whole thing out and uh, do a really good... Okay, here we go! everything all nice and clean so now the only thing is to add pellets we've got lots of pellets to last us through the winter what you're looking at here is about four tons or actually a little bit less since we started uh, heating this winter so um, the cost of pellets has gone up a little bit with the recession because it's sort of tied to the building industry because the pellets are generated from sawdust but uh, even so it's nowhere near the volatility of oil and um, it's still only running us about half of the cost of what we used to spend to heat our house every winter. So if you remember the hopper was almost empty when we first looked in, now I've put a 40 pound bag of pellets in here. And when it's really cold in the winter we can run through two 40 pound bags in 24 hours. It's just starting up now. These things have a uh, igniter and a temperature gauge so that they can actually turn themselves on and off to keep the house at a consistent temperature. And voila, we're ready for another month of cozy, warm, carbon neutral heat. And by the way, the bags that the pellets come in uh, can be recycled at the supermarket. They're number four plastic and along with shopping bags and newspaper bags and even food ba bags, um, we recycle all of that instead of putting them in the trash. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Living Green with EcoBags.com.